Hey sports card fans, welcome back to Card Yard. Got another rip of uh, 2022 Series 2 today. I think I have 29 of these blister packs. These are the ones from Meyer that have the exclusive purple parallels in them. Uh, there's two purples in each pack and then one retail pack. You know, the purples are floating around loose underneath the pack and it kind of stinks because they're subject to damage and also they're subject to search by pack searchers. So now these, I think they were digging these things out of the warehouse and bringing them out to the stores recently. I got these things at a, at a sale. Most of them I have the tops cut off already just for ease of making the video. I'm gonna get these out of the way. <clears throat> I don't, these things don't open very well. So I tend to, I tend to cut these. So we'll, we'll like, do super rips of like a third of the packs in each each in a pile. Try to keep it keep the video down to a minimum. So the purples are kind of subject to damage. So I do try to open them carefully so I don't damage the purples because they're as you can see they're just loose in here. There's Machado though. Yeah, so these weren't actually in the store very often. There's still some white corner damage on them though. You can kind of see down here on this the Royals team card. The Machado looks pretty decent. I'll super rip the packs. The retail packs won't have very much in them. So we're into the landscape cards in this little batch here. Alzale and a Colton Wong. These are not numbered, but they are kind of limited. I don't know exactly what I would estimate, maybe three, four, five thousand of each one. This one kind of seems like maybe that's actually a pretty good one. We've got Otani on there. It's definitely a little damage on the edge and Patino. All right, the rest of them were already pre cut, so. And, uh, you know, so J-Rod and Bobby are just short prints in here. These are definitely damaged up here on the corner. Well, this one's on the bottom, but those over there. All those short printed cards that are in this set, you uh, cannot pull purples of those, like just like any other parallel. kind of stinks about when they short print good rookies like they just did in 2024. Series 2, Dylan Moore and Barnhart. This is one of my favorite items to rip, though. It's kind of fun. Of course, you want to get there and buy them before this. Before they've kind of been searched a lot, because when people are searching them, and also just, just them sitting on the shelf and getting moved around, the, you know, the corners of the purples get damaged. I think those two are pretty bad. Just too bad because it's a Josh Lowe rookie card. Not a bad rookie. Here's another Josh Lowe. That one's a little better. Still has a little edge damage on it though. It's kind of like uh, the retail blues. Retail blues are tough to gem up. These are going to be probably even a little harder because they're not in the packs. That's a pretty good one. Corner damage on it though. All right, we'll do like two more, and then we'll super rip that first group of packs. Like I said, I'm not trying to keep these uh, a secret from you because I'm more interested in opening the packs without damaging the purples. So I'm not trying to build drama by any means. All right. So this is about a third of what I have here. There's a Byron Buxton. It's pretty good. Endeavors. Those are two pretty good ones, you know. I don't I don't really know. I've never really seen people get these things to gem up if they grade them. It's usually like getting a nine's like kind of like getting a ten. Let's see what we find in these packs. Shane Boz on the back. Pretty good rookie card. 
Matt Brash is a decent rookie card as pitchers go. Today, Friday the 12th. Watch the uh, <clears throat> Brewers replay yesterday of the Pirates. Paul Skeens making absolute mincemeat out of the Brewers. Seven no hit innings with 11 strikeouts through seven with no hits. And yet he gets pulled because he's on a pitch count throwing a no hitter. I don't know. How many times, he's never going to be younger than he is now, and it's like he got pulled because of pitch count, throwing a no-hitter. I'm not sure I agree with that, but, you know, it was that night, he threw 99 pitches, I believe. And, I, you know, I, I'm a Brewers fan, so I'm, I was rooting for the Brewers, but... We got a backwards Noah Syndergaard here. It's actually a blue. That's pretty decent. Pull any of these uh, 87 blues. This is like the base parallel that's the most common parallel. It's not numbered, but it is a blue. It's a sweet card. It's almost the same photo. I guess that's just his pitching pose, what you're going to get. Base, we got a blue, Gaussman, and Springer. Yeah, it's not the best checklist in this. There's Austin Hayes gold card out of 2022. It's decent. A little corner damage on the top left. There's Strider rookie card. Put that in the good cards. And we got Wilmer Flores rainbow foil. I should probably be checking that last card right there to make sure it's not a Bailey Ober blue, Miggy, Shohei. Second half. This is going to be a little bit longer of a video. It's kind of time consuming to. Uh, we got a pure base pack here. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of base packs in these retail packs with nothing in them. Chuck Nasty there. Some Machado Chrome. Sano on the stats. Votto. Thought there was a backwards card, but it's Catfish Hunter on the No Hit Club. Pretty cool. Any of the old timers that were around when I was a kid, kind of, you know, I kind of like pulling those cards. Trammell, Springer, 87. Danny Duffy is a base card. Some Manoa on the Generation Now. And base. All right, next. Let me create a little space here. Next, purples. Ruiz and Swanson. Got that dugout congratulations again. It's a decent one, but it's got corner damage on it. <clears throat> I'd like the, there's a card with Trout and, uh, I guess that Trout and Otani card is from update, not from series two. Alzale again with Carlos Santana. It's Castellanos. I dig that card, actually. I like that. I always like that photo. in the Orioles team. Let's see what else we can find. We've got about six more packs here. I can see we got into some of the, some dupes on these. I'm sure I have enough. I'm sure I have a complete set of these purples. 
I ripped quite, quite a bunch of these off camera, a lot back in 2022. A little something on that Madrigal card and Juan Yepes rookie. I don't know if what Yepes is still in baseball or with the Cardinals or where he is. I thought they DFA'd him. Alex Wood, Seabold rookie. These weren't around, sitting around the store too long when I got them. So the corners of them are pretty good. Like those two there, you know, that Pure Meyer's got a little bottom issue on it. I don't know. I, I keep asking Tops to repackage these things. <clears throat> kind of like the Fanatics Blasters. With the Aquas in them now. I wish they would. That's how they would do these purples. Special blaster boxes with these purples in them to prevent damage and searching. We really got all the landscape purples in this one. Got the Red Sox and another Machado. Really got into the. Uh, I see I had a little plastic on the bottom of the cards there. All right, next pack of next stack of packs. Try to get, I'll try to super rip these. You guys can fast forward through this boring part of me yammering on. Appreciate it if you watch the video though. Because there's one more stack after this stack here. So, and we're already at almost 12 minutes. It's a little too long of a video. But I did want to get done with this. I do have a little more Series 2 packs, like in <clears throat> mystery boxes and some blister packs that I'll probably open pretty soon. So I do have a little more of this product, but this is the only, these are the only purples I have. It's, the purples are a cool idea. I just wish they would do them differently so they weren't damaged. It'd be a lot better. We have an 87 here. Gary Matthews' base. It's the kid. It's a good one. Nick Fortes rookie on the rainbow foil. <coughs> Excuse me. Cough, no cough button here in the studio. Like a professional studio. All pure base pack. We got belly bombs on the chrome. Looks like when we get a chrome, we get a significant stats, which I don't love. No short prints yet. That's kind of really what I'm looking for here amongst these base cards. I don't think they put the uh, short prints in the retail pack so much. Alonzo on the All-Star, 87 All-Star. There's a blue Arias. It's kind of cool. De La Cruz. Polanco, base. Vladdy Jr. on the 87. 87s do look pretty cool. <clears throat> And I've definitely got several sets of those. I should throw those together and sell them off. Nando on the stats. And I think this is the last pack. It is. That's a base card. We got the Soto All-Star card. That's a cool card. And base. All right, let me clear a little space here for the last, this is the last stack right here. It's about 10 of them, maybe nine. Yeah, if you don't live in the Midwest, you can't really get these and Meyer. They don't sell them on the website. They don't sell them anywhere, but really in the store. The other thing they could do is move them behind the uh, service counter, <clears throat> which should cut down on the uh, pack searching. 
They're semi-in and belly bombs. Got white corners on them though. Those are kind of good, you know, vets, guys like that. Got Dylan Moore and Roberto Perez. Those actually look pretty good. Rangers, Orioles. Yeah, that's the problem with short printing rookie cards. You know, like Bobby and J-Rod and Torque. <clears throat> Had they just put them in the set, then you'd have parallels of them in the set. This set would be pretty hot stuff if those guys were in the set as base cards. And there still would have been a lot of hits in Update to make that attractive. Tommy Edmond and Brubaker. Three more. Got Carpenter again, an Austin Warren rookie. It's a lot of purples though. Yeah, we really got the landscape cards in these. Orioles and Castellanos, I think we've seen both of those already. Here's the last one. Super Rip These Packs. It's a pretty cool one. Some of these, some of the purples are lighter purple than the others. All right, there's like eight or nine packs here. Super rip these and end this video. Really do appreciate it if you watch this whole thing. Hasn't been a super rip. Kind of missing a big banger, you know? No autos, no relics. Thought for sure I'd find a relic out of these packs. That's kind of what I was guessing I would find, whether I wanted it or not. So it's kind of fun to get a relic. They're not super valuable usually, but unless you get a numbered autographed one or a Jeter or some kind of really collectible type of guy. Knowing my luck, it'll be a wander, you know? All right, last stack here. And we got a gold card of Yandi. It's pretty decent. It's out of 2022. Pretty nice. All base. More base. Freddie Freeman on the stats card. Stars. Base. Long expired home run challenge of Vladdy and Jim Palmer. Cool. 1969, he threw an A no hitter. I would assume he threw more than one. I don't know that offhand. Pure base pack. We got a Shohei. Normally I'd say every Shohei is a good Shohei, but stars of MLB don't really care. There's a Chrome. <clears throat> Shane Boz on the generation now. Dean Kramer is a base card. Lindor on the Sweet Shades. Pretty cool card. Another Shohei. Base. Votto. Home Run Challenge. Jackie. It's a cool card on that diamond die cut. And here's the here's the last stack of cards. Base Steven Riding's rookie on the rainbow foil. Got another chrome. Nice 
Notice how these chrome, look at how off center that card is. The last one was like that too. This one's actually worse. The back is like pretty centered in terms of the blue on the sides. The front is definitely not. It's very interesting. There's a cool Tom Sieber diamond die cut. And the rest is base. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye now.